Hey everybody, happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. It's that time of the week. It's Motivational Monday. And this week, guys, I want to talk about something that you probably heard me speak or touch on a little bit before, um, but I've never really gone into great detail about it. And it's something that I probably have this conversation, I'd say, at least every other week, if not once a week, whether it be with an agent or somebody in my personal life. And often people say to me, you know, Adam, I, I want to accomplish these things. I want to do these things, but I just don't have the time. And it's one of those excuses that drives me absolutely insane. Um, a long time ago, a gentleman said to me, do you know what the difference between being great and being the best is? And at first I thought, you know, dedication, hard work, you know, all those things that go into being the best at whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. And he looked at me and he says, absolutely not. He said, the most important thing is time management. And I thought, okay, what do you mean? Like, you know, creating a schedule, sticking to it, you know, things like that. And he said, no, every hour, every minute, every second of the day, if you're not taking advantage of that time to grow, whether it's in your professional life or your personal life, you're losing. And at first I thought, wow, that's pretty intense. That's pretty strong. But then I kind of thought about it. Guys, one of the things and one of the excuses I hear often from individuals, whether it be, like I said, in my personal life or agents or brokers or people that I work with, is I don't have enough time. And really what it comes down to is it's not a matter of having enough time. It's prioritizing and making sure that you make the time to accomplish things. Whether it's something in your professional life, like scheduling out when you're going to make phone calls and set appointments, or whether it's something in your personal life, like spending quality time with your family, making sure that you're you know, nurturing the relationships that you have in your life. This is really, really important. And, and what I did about 10 years ago is I broke it down and I thought, okay, I'm really going to take this to heart. I'm really going to focus on really taking advantage of every waking minute that I have in order to better myself as a human being. A lot of you have heard me speak before. You know my schedule. I get up normally really, really early in the morning, anywhere between four to five. In between, in that time, I try to clear my head, do things around the house. I'll even play a little video games. It's a joke here at the office. But for me, it's important on two, two levels. One is I have the structure that every day I know I'm doing the same thing. And then the second piece of it is even when I'm playing video games, even when I'm taking the dog outside. I'm making sure that I'm intentional on that time because what I'm doing is I'm preparing my mind for the rest of the day. The other example that I use often um, that's non-professional is with my brother, Tyler. Uh, we're very, very close. Aside from working together, aside from him being my brother, he's one of my best friends. And uh, the relationship that I have with him and the relationship that I have with my fiance, it's very, very important to me. So what I've done is I've carved out time throughout the week to make sure that I'm investing in those relationships. For my brother, it's having what we call brother time. Uh, he'll often tell you that if uh, we don't have brother time for a while, um, things go wrong. For my fiance, it's making sure that we have date night. It's making sure that I carve out time in my schedule to invest in the most important relationship that I have on this planet and that's with my fiance. Guys, listen, I want to challenge you as you go through this week, be intentional. Are you growing? Are you taking advantage of every single minute of the day? There's a lot of time, guys, I called it voided space where we're not taking advantage of it. Do you want to be good? Do you want to be great? Or do you want to be the best? And if you want to be the best, I challenge you guys, Look at your schedule. Look at the amount of time during the day that you waste, that you're just sitting around, you're not doing anything, and then take that time and try to invest it back in yourself. The more that you invest in yourself, the more that you take that time and invest it, whether it be in your personal life or your professional life, I promise you, you're going to win. So as we go through this week, guys, I challenge you, look at the amount of time that you're spending on things that aren't helping you grow and make sure that you're, you're changing those things. Guys, we have an awesome week. We had our national sales call last week so we don't have another one for about a month, um, but it was incredible. Uh, Pete Fournier did a great training. As we move forward throughout this week, you're going to see more content posted right here on Innovative and Friends. Make sure that you're tuning in, you're checking that out, and then you're commenting. This week, we are going to do something a little different. Normally, Pete does his uh, Tuesday tip, and then on Thursdays, he hops on at 7 o'clock and does a live session. Unfortunately, due to scheduling, he's going to have to do that this coming Friday. So you'll see the tip on Tuesday, and then Friday at 7 p.m., make sure that you tune in live right here on Innovative and Friends so that you can uh, you know, see his live chat and then he can answer any questions he has in regards to uh, his tip of the week. Guys, as always, thank you for all that you do. Until next week, we'll see you then. Take care.